If we weren't meant to use Q-tips in our ears, then why does it hit the G-spot in the ear? There is no G-spot in the ear, you sickos. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stevio, AKA Motherfucker. Today we're gonna be talking about earwax, clogged ears, and Q-tips from the emergency room. Clogged ears are one of my favorite things to do in the ER. I love unclogging a clogged ear. They're usually clogged because motherfuckers are using Q-tips to try to clean their ears. Please stop using Q-tips to clean your ears. I will get into it and why after we watch the videos. Here we go. Tips from the ER, clogged ears. One of my favorite things to do in the ER, unclog a clogged ear. Clogged ears are typically due to built up earwax or because you're using Q-tips to clean your ears. Stop using Q-tips to clean your fucking ears. You know who you are. It doesn't help and it only pushes the wax deeper. You wanna save yourself a trip to the ER? Stop sticking things into your ear. I've seen some crazy stuff come out of your little head holes. Bugs, pencils, cotton, tissue paper. None more satisfying than a big chunk of smelly wax large enough to stick a wick in it and make it a candle. Honestly, I don't know why ERs haven't started this side business yet. Inner body orifice scented candles. Come buy one at your local ER. The proceeds will go to make it a billboard telling motherfuckers to stop using Q-tips to clean your ears. Thank you. And right after I made that video, a lot of you commented and said, well, how the heck do we clean our ears if we don't use Q-tips? We love using Q-tips to clean our ears, which made me make the next video. Tips from the ER. Q-tips. Warning. Do not insert swab into ear canal. Entering the ear canal could cause injury. Wow, right on the box. Let's turn it around for a variety of uses. Around the eye, that cut on your finger, your disgusting toes, or your electronics. Nowhere on this box do you see your ear. That's because you shouldn't be sticking Q-tips into your ear to clean out earwax. You wouldn't stick a giant Q-tip up your butt to clean the poop off the inner linings of your colon. You'd wait for the poop to come out and wipe the surface. Much the same way you should be doing with your ear. I don't care how badly you want that eargasm. Stop masturbating inside your ear, you horny, lonely motherfuckers. <laughs> Find someone to help you with an old fashioned orgasm so you can stop sticking Q-tips into your ears. Okay, I forgot I said all that in that video. Wow, that was uh... a... <laughs> First of all, earwax is good. It prevents uh, ear infections. It keeps debris, dust, and dirt out of your ear. And you know, it keeps things from crawling into your ears. You wouldn't want a fly crawling into your ears and banging on your eardrum. That is bad. Ears are also self-cleaning. You don't need to clean the inside of your ear. I understand some wax builds up inside. Just get some water in there and splash it out. Use the Q-tip only for the outside of your ear. Don't stick anything into the hole. Yes? What happens when you come into the ER with a clogged ear? The doctor will, you know, take that magnifying glass. They'll look into your ear first. We'll make sure there's wax in there and then we'll clean it. That's where I come in. I get my syringe, get some water, and I just squirt water into the ear that's clogged until wax comes out. And it always does. They're usually really big chunks of wax and it's so satisfying for me. Some of them smell really bad. Sometimes we'll use hydrogen peroxide if the water is not working, but I usually don't. I usually just shoot water into your ear until it comes out. Sometimes if it does take too long though, I'll shoot water into the ear and the patient will get dizzy and then we'll have to take a break, so. If you do decide to use hydrogen peroxide at home, do not use only hydrogen peroxide. Dilute it with some water. In the ER, we usually do a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, let's read some of the top comments from these two TikTok videos. I love how doctors always tell us not to use Q-tips, but they never fucking tell us what to use. Because ears are self-cleaning. You want the earwax there. And earwax will slowly build up and move to the surface of your ear, and then you just take a, you know, tissue or a napkin and you just wipe the surface. You don't need to go inside and swish around your ear. I don't give a shit about your eargasms. They're not worth it. I'll never stop. There's nothing more satisfying than that sweet Q-tip relief. We'll see you in the ER, I guess. This guy is the type of guy that I would appreciate cursing at me. Well, fuck you very much, motherfucker. The question now stands. What should we use to clean our ears? Again, warm water. When you're in the shower, shower water. Just wipe the surface. 
get a Q-tip and wipe the outside of your ear where those little wrinkles are, but not inside. Do not stick anything inside your ears. Then who the fuck was like, yeah, let me use a Q-tip to clean my ear. Then everybody thought it was for your ears. That's a good question. I mean, your ding dong wasn't meant to go up the butt, but someone decided to do that. Humans are curious. Steve, unless you personally are down to assist me, I'm eargasming. I'll say it again. You do not need to clean the inside of your ear. Q-tips are one of the few items actually designed for the one thing it says specifically not to, but no one does anything about it aside from saying not to. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Arrest you? Read the instructions. Don't do it. It's not good. Think about it. A Q-tip is a big old cotton ball stuck to a stick. As soon as you stick that stick inside your ear, you're gonna be pushing the earwax closer to your brain and you're gonna be maybe scooping some of the surface of the ear canal. You're never gonna get the earwax out. You're just gonna be pushing it in, which is gonna just cause more problems. So what should we do? Rather than just being a smart ass, maybe offer some advice. Guys, ears are self-cleaning. You do not need to stick anything in there to clear it out. Warm water, wait for it to come out, wipe the surface. No one's even looking at your ears. Can you give us a video explaining best things to use other than Q-tips? Boom, right here. How about you actually say how to clean your ears? Maybe that would actually stop people from doing it. <sighs> Water, wipe, keep away from the hole. Is it true that you could use hydrogen peroxide to clean them though? Yes, hydrogen peroxide will soften the wax so it's easier to come out. But remember, don't use only hydrogen peroxide. Dilute it with water using one-to-one -one ratio. If you have a syringe, uh, that'd be the best way to do it. Lie down, put the hydrogen peroxide water mix into your ear and just let it sit for a little bit. Let it soak into the wax, let it soften. And then once you're done, just turn over. Hopefully it'll come out. Maybe give it a little shake. So what are Q-tips for then? Why do Q-tips exist? Good question. If I remember correctly on the box, it said Q-tips, uh, you could use them to clean around your eye. You can clean around your ear. They're good for uh, getting the dust off your keyboard. Good for maybe cleaning in between your toes. You could use them for many things, just not the inside of your ear. <clears throat> Literally just read the box. Why is my earwax a liquid? Earwax is liquid and it's sticky. Think about it, right? It makes a good defense mechanism for your ears. It traps dust and dirt from getting into your eardrum. And just in case you're sleeping and a cockroach or a spider decides to crawl into your ear, it'll stop that motherfucker too. If we weren't meant to use Q-tips in our ears, then why does it hit the G-spot in the ear? There is no G-spot in the ear. Stevio, so should I just clean the outer circle of my ear? I guess I did never ask my ear canal for consent. That's right, consent is very important. Keep out. Is it bad if my ears are really dirty all the time? I don't think it's that bad. If you're worried about people seeing it, just wipe the fucking surface. No one's ever gonna come close enough to your ear to look inside the fucking hole. What about the end of a bobby pin? Absolutely not. Do not stick the end of a bobby pin anywhere into your body, you sickos. What about when the earwax builds up in a soupy goopy mess that won't come out otherwise? How do you even know it's a soupy goopy mess? You can't see the inside of your ear. I know you can't because the only way we could effectively see the inside of the ear in the ER is with a very specific device with a tiny magnifying glass and then we see what's inside your ear. Most of you are at home blindly sticking things into your ear trying to scoop things out and it's not helping. I promise you it's not helping. Just leave the earwax alone Wait for it to creep out and then wipe. People are always surprised in the ER when I tell them do not use Q-tips in your ears. Not many people know. Look it up anywhere, Google it, YouTube it. Everybody will tell you do not stick Q-tips into your ears. That's our video, I hope that was helpful. Please comment any other questions you have and I'll try to answer them. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll be sure to come out with more next week. Thank you motherfuckers.